I have a message for you all from the continent of Europe. Forget that landing on an asteroid crap, we are landing on a comet. Hell yeah. Hey D-Newsers, Trace here with your weekly D-News Space Update. The European Space Agency announced recently that the Rosetta probe, launched in 2004, will wake up from hibernation on January 20th, chase down a comet, and land on its face. 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko won't know what hit it, but we will. It's called Rosetta. When the Rosetta probe was launched, the mission was always to land on this comet. Eventually. NASA shot at a comet to analyze the dust and landed on an asteroid, but landing on a comet? Crazy talk! Until late next year, hopefully. The ESA hopes to specifically learn what a comet is made of and how they form and what happens to those wee beasties when they get nearer the sun and start to kind of come apart. Rosetta is on course to intercept the 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko right now, but she's in hibernation and has been since 2011. There have been a bunch of problems plaguing this old gal, so for the moment, scientists are concerning themselves with her power-up timer. If all goes well, at 10 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time on January 20th, the probe will come out of hibernation mode and start scanning for the comet. We're not going to be able to do much in the process during this time because the signal's going to take 45 minutes to get to Earth from the probe. Once it finds it, though, then the probe should automatically set itself into an orbit where it will remain for the next 17 months. While orbiting, Rosetta will study the comet with onboard systems until in November of 2014, a barrel-sized probe called Philae will pop out of Rosetta like a wee babe, shoot the comet with a harpoon, and lower itself down. Comets have been virtually unchanged since the creation of the solar system. The ESA scientists look at it like a, like a 4.6 billion year old time capsule. Philae will drill into the surface of 67P to define what it's made of. Considering the comet will be rapidly approaching the sun, it will likely survive on the surface for like three days. Rosetta, assuming it doesn't get damaged by flying debris, could survive until as late as 2016. Even if this mission fails, and let's hope it doesn't, Rosetta has already completed a Mars flyby in 2007, two asteroid flybys, one in 2008 and one in 2010, so it's not like a total bust mission. Rosetta's mission file opened in 1997, launched in 2004, and reached its destination, 67 P Churyumov Gerasimenko, in 2014. All that for 17 months in orbit and 72 hours actually touching a comet being destroyed by the sun. Does this stuff get you fired up? Does it get you excited about space? Tell everyone in the comments and don't forget to subscribe before you go running outside to look at the stars. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. We will see you next Friday for another weekly D-News Space Update.